I'm Nigel Batcham, the Senior Director of Planning at Amy's Kitchen. I look after all the supply planning side of planning at Amy's Kitchen. That covers raw materials, production, scheduling, uh, labour planning. Uh, so Amy's Kitchen is America's largest natural foods produce, producer, uh, producing uh, retail packs for supermarkets of frozen entrees and soups. Amy's is very focused on the quality of its products and in order to make the food taste so good it takes a lot of complexity on the manufacturing side uh, that is very unique to Amy's. Uh, so we, we start with uh, raw vegetables and we are peeling carrots and peeling potatoes. So there's many, many processes that all need to happen at very close proximity to the production line. Uh, so where we really get some help from Quintig is, is that often with those raw materials there can be problems with them and we have to reschedule at very short notice. And our scheduling system allows us to do that in a way that allows us to uh, find something else to produce that, uh, and, and ensure that all the raw materials are available. Uh, optimization technology is crucial because uh, given that it is so complex, there are many aspects of our, our business such as the scheduling, such as our distribution planning, uh, where we need to completely rerun all of the plan. Uh, and this allows us to improve our, our truck utilization and our labor utilization. So responsive planning for us uh, and, and probably uh, relates to most food business um, is that there is a lot of change that happens, a lot of unforeseen circumstances, a lot of uncertainty. Particularly for us, there is a lot of uncertainty around our labor availability, which is a crucial element of our production. And so responsive planning allows us to, uh, in, uh, to rerun the plans and get the new answer in that uh, takes into consideration the updated information. Uh, so we've been with Quintig since 2013 and have implemented four different systems so far. Uh, one system is used for allocating our employee resources to line positions each day. Uh, the, the big uh, system that we put in place was our scheduling system, uh, which does all of our production scheduling, master planning and materials planning. Uh, then we use Macro Planner to uh, plan the long range, going out two years. Uh, which is important for contracting of agricultural items. And then uh, lastly, we did a distribution planner, which helps us to get the right products on the, on the trucks and most effectively utilize the, the trucks. Okay, so, so next on our roadmap is to do some further enhancement to macro planner and build it out a lot more. We did a very basic implementation to solve a few key issues. Uh, but we didn't really understand what the, what the full benefit we could get from the product. Uh, so we, we did a basic implementation just to get started and through that would build our understanding. And we now have a pretty good idea of what it can do for us. And so that is uh, next in our plans uh, to build that out so that we have more users in it, using it for uh, the long range materials planning and ag planning, contracting. Um, and uh, even doing a, a rolling plan that feeds into the scheduler. So as scheduler, we saw the benefits uh, very quickly into, into the uh, implementation of the system. Uh, so the key benefit we got was just with the responsiveness, we were able to reduce our inventory uh, by about 25%. Uh, while still servicing customers to the same level. And we were running through a labor shortage at the time and, and so our inventory was low. So we were really able to test the boundaries of, of uh, how low we could go and still service customers and, and were able to measure that. Um, on the distribution planning side, uh, we, we increased our truck utilization from about 80% up into above 99%. And that was through just having a, a much better process flow that was more responsive.
So, so our original process for distribution planning was very rigid where we would need to uh, decide exactly which items were going onto a load a week before we even produced them. And it was inflexible to be able to uh, make any changes to that uh, and very difficult. And so um, we would end up with a lot of trucks being sent away, not full because it was just too hard to figure out what to, what to put on the truck with uh, limited time available. So we moved to a system where every night um, we are able to uh, re-optimise what goes on the, the trucks without uh, having that limitation of being able to make the changes. So we have an overnight process for the distribution planner planning, but uh, we are also receiving real-time updates on inventory through the day to help the planners manually make changes and, and respond. So we are making the final decision about what goes on the trucks uh, maybe 12 hours before the, the pick is due to happen. Uh, and if anything goes wrong during, during that 12 hours, uh, there is still the possibility of someone in the warehouse being able to correct uh, the issue themselves um, without relying on a planner. So the process before was, was just uh, highly aggravating to every single person involved. Uh, it was defeating to them uh, just coming to work and, and having to deal with such a horrible process. Uh, but it was all we could do at the time and so this has just uh, made the process more efficient. Um, people are, are doing work that is adding value instead of just trying to rework uh, what had already been done. So the key thing uh, for me would be to go back to our, our scheduler project and, and reflecting on that project. Um, we made some errors with that project. It is the most complex part of our business. Uh, and, and we were so excited about what Quintig could do. Um, we'd, we'd gained an understanding of it during the pre-sales process. And, and we put into the scope of the project a whole lot of wishes that we wanted and we didn't concentrate so much on the core. Uh, so my main advice is, is don't get too excited, uh, don't try and fix everything in, in the first round, uh, focus on replacing the core uh, part of the, the planning and then build on it later.